Hi guys, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is our 19th video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will discuss about the user authentication. So, Laravel provides us authentication system. So, we will use that system and create the user login, register, change password and all the authentication system. So, let's do this. So, the first thing what we will do, we will open the command line. We will open the command line and then we will run php uh, not php we will run composer require laravel ui so this will install the uh, ui for the laravel because we need to create the login registration system uh, with the help of ui so after running this command so i have already run this command in my system so Please note, note down this command and run in your project. After running this command, we will run php artisan ui bootstrap and we will use auth. So this will install the authentication system with bootstrap styling because we are using bootstrap 4. So this will uh, add that authentication system with the, with the bootstrap style. So now, after running this command, let's go to the project. So here we are. Here we have a project. So we are in our project. Now what we will do? We will, we will go to the login URI. So when we will go to the login, here you can see it has been created uh, with the uh, top bar and uh, with the login form. So what we need to do? We need to replace that this top bar with our our on top bar because we have our on top bar so what we will do so if so this authentication system has is created the folder so if you go to the resources view and here it has been created the auth and the layout folder so what we will do we have a this front layout we have created for the common thing so what we will do we will open the auth and we will open the all files so here we will open the all files and in the login what we will do here we will add front layout okay similarly we will do for the all pages okay so now let's refresh this page so here you can see we have a we have a, a our on top bar with the uh, with the login form and one thing more we need to do we need to add the section here we will add title and we will add here login uh, this is verify page so we will add verify and here we will add register and one thing we will add login okay so let's refresh this page so we have a title login and uh, we can go to the register okay register so we have a register form okay and uh, let's change the this password this password files also so what we will do here i will copy this and paste it here and the title is confirm password similarly sent email and here reset password okay so now we have changed all the pass all the pages title so we need to also add the condition if user is logged in then we need to uh, if user is logged in then we will show the logout link and if if user is not logged in then here we will show login and registration link so how we can do this so we will open our front layout and before front level we will add guest check so this check will be for the guest if guest is exist then what we will do if guest is exist then it means if user is not logged in then we will show the 
login and register link okay and our login register link will be defined as you can refer the official documentation of laravel they have well explained all the things and here we will add register okay else else means if not guest if not guest then what we will do we will add logout link okay and here we will add logout so let's refresh this page so now we have a login and registration let's login let's registration so i have created uh, let's create user alex alex at gmail.com password is something so user has been created and go to the and by default authentication system is redirect to the home controller index method so what we need to do we didn't define the index method so we will change this home method to index and similarly we will do this in our route okay so we have now let's refresh this page so now we have you can see we have a logout link so this in the authentication system uh, this logout link will work with the post method so what we need to do we need to submit the form so here we will create the form actually when you create the authentication system in the command line then the auth system will create the layout so let's go to the layout this layout has been created and they have created the logout link so what we need to do so here they, they are passing the logout url and on the on click function they are submitting the form this logout form so we will create this form so we will copy this form and paste it here and then what we do we will also copy this on click event then when user click on this link then okay. So when user click on this link, let's uh, minimize this. So when user click on this link, then it will prevent default. It means it will not redirect to the logout link. Instead, it will uh, submit the form. So this form is a logout form. Here define the ID logout form. So this post, this uh, form is submitted and go to the route this logout uh, post method, which is created by the authentication system so let's check this so i will refresh this and log out so it has been log out logged out and redirect to the home page and here you can see the login and register link has been changed so uh, in this video i just want to show you that how we can create the auth system we have just simply created the auth system which is uh, which is uh, provided by the laravel so you can use and you can extend the functionality you can customize the functionality so uh, in the in our next uh, video in our next videos we will work on the we have defined the authentication system now we will work on the uh, these comments so the only logged in user uh, can uh, see this form so let's add the condition uh, in this video let's add the condition so i'm going to close all the files and uh, we will open the detail page and uh, here uh, add comment section so if what we will do if auth so what here we will end if so this auth means if user is authenticated then we will show this form so here you can see the form has been not shown if i add the condition guest if guest then guest if guest then we can show the form but we we don't want to show the form if user is not logged in because we want to save the we want to save the comment data that who is commented so it is possible when user is logged in okay so we will check this auth so this auth will check that the user is authenticated or not okay so in the next video we will submit the form we will submit the comment actually 
and then we will work on the categories and uh, and this popular post we will add the views whenever user open the detail page then we will count the views every time we will count the views and we will show the popular post according to the views so for now thanks for watching uh, this video thank you so much and uh, please subscribe this channel please like this video share this video thank you so much